Oh, all right. Um. Well, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Hit this. Yep. Damn it. Alright. Okay, that's ready to go in a few days. But hey, I didn't time travel, so that's nice. That's all I care about. So I know where she is. Oh, for the love of Batman. Christ, okay. How much money do I got? Awesome. I'll tell you. Cool. All right. Sixteen grand. Oh yeah, cause when we're gonna do tacos tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 
Like, I'm gonna say no to tacos. Holy shit, that cookie dough, though. I really liked it. It tasted weird to me, sorry. I think that's because I, instead of vanilla extract, I used that cinnamon. Yeah, no, that's why it tasted good. Really? Yeah. There was something powdery in there, and it's not sugar, it's something versus the... I feel like they should change the baking soda. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? That's kind of what it tasted like to me. Well, yeah, because you want to know what I did. Oh. We don't want the berries to explode. <laughs> it's cheesecake. Yes. Oh man. Uh, honey, cheesecake's here. Oops. Ah, uh, I love you so much. You know that, baby. No. Is this on PC? Uh, dude, I'm- hold on. I'm playing on legit hardware, man. Is this on PC? Oh, uh, I think he probably means like an emulator. No, that's just my capture card fucking up, and I, I honestly have no idea what, what's going on with that. It's only Animal Crossing on the Wii. It's not like any other game. I don't get it. I'm also playing on a Wii U via HDMI, and I have no idea why the fucking thing is glitching so bad. If you're talking about the graphics, yeah, I know. I know. All right. <laughs> you know, as much as I want to say yes, cheesecake, um, well, you see, there's a, there's a very weird thing about that is we're not married yet, so... Cheesecake asks, uh, does your wife see the berries? And I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm gonna let you answer that question, honey. Because I know you, uh, you have your whole thing that you don't, uh, you don't want me talking about. Oops. What? Getting married? Yeah. I know that I don't want to talk about, we're just not engaged or anything. I know. So there's nothing to talk about. All right. Oh, oops. Hold on. That's no porn. We want to get married one day when we're both ready. Yes. Our roles are kind of picked up out now. Oh, so me and Jordan figured out something amazing in Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. I I still have to record it because we're we're missing out on two things. So. Um. Just keep in mind that- Oh, hey, do you want to play Smash later? Sure. Alright. Because now I have a legitimate reason to play Smash. Because my dumb ass- oh, Me and Jordan's dumb asses together, the, the two parts of us being stupid made one smart person. <laughs> <laughs> and I even said it too on video. I was like, I'm so glad that I found this out because I was just like, what the fuck is this? And then Jordan's like, it's amazing. Oh my like, alright. I legitimately had no fucking idea that this was a feature in the game, and I'm just like, motherfucker. What is it? I, you know what? I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I will show you. Right. And as soon as you see it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? This is in the game? I'm like, yeah! Okay. <laughs> Come see the berries. See, roll, rolls a berry crushing your couch, Jesus Christ. Man. Alright. Sorry, oh, you know what, hold on, I, okay. It was like a, like a really wonka like on the really chocolate, really chocolate really factory good. fucking fanfic is what it was. Alright. As one does. Hey, I don't mind. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, the, the 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 puffs. Those puffs are amazing, by the way. I don't I don't know if it's just me being a little bitch. All right, so it's 104 again. All right, so I'm gonna write that down. Yes, I would like some, honey. I would I would like some of your Cheetos. Give me some Cheetos. Also, you know what I could do to, to free up some characters? Instead of Velociraptor, I just put Raptor. I just realized that. Raptor, okay. Or you could put like the Raptor. And also uh, T-Rex. Uh, I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. Ah, I'm a motherfucking. Shut the fuck up! Alright. It's my dad. Again. What if? What? They made both three T Rexes. <laughs> Alright. Because now I'm just thinking of a dinosaur in a boat. Ugh. And it's gotta be really tall, so his little arms can reach the steering wheel. And he's there and he's just like got a little hat and he's like, choo choo. All right. Oh, you bitch. All right, 104. All right, cool. All right. All right, how many turnips can I buy with 12? Hold on. I got I got to do the math. All right, so 12 grand divided by 104. I can buy 122 turnips. So I can only do 120. That's fair. That's more than fair. I'm buying. All right. How many do you want to buy, kiddo? Because I sell them in bunches of 10. 120. Right? I'll buy. Watch me regret this so much. The berries squirt juice all over your clean carpet. We got hardwood floor. Bet you didn't think of that, cheesecake. I got an average house. With it. Wait, what, how does the fucking the song go? Oh, hey, cool. My my trees grew. Awesome. With a nice hardwood floor. Oh, yeah, I'm an ass. Yeah, that's exactly what I was singing. I'm an asshole. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Took it down for I got it. And there ain't nothing, there, goddamn thing, I'm gonna do about it. Oh no, cause we got the bomb. Yeah. Two words: nuclear fucking weapons. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! I mean, you really are an asshole. If you spill a liquid on your wood floor, it can cause permanent stains. Yeah, believe me, I know. That's true. My dumbass watering my plants. I, uh, I spit a little bit, and I have to fucking... Actually, you know what? At least you wipe it up right away. Oh, yeah, no, that's why I have that, uh, the rag over there. Right. <clears throat> yeah, because I don't know if you noticed, I have a, I have a rag over by the, uh, over by the plants to wipe yeah. up fucking water on the floor. Aren't you glad that I do that? Yeah. I very easily just couldn't. I mean, not couldn't. I very easily could just be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it, but I do it. I do it because I don't want to be an asshole. <laughs> I have to go out and have fun at someone else's expense. I'm an asshole. Oh shit, there's furniture. It's cozy. Cozy's back. Tanya and your girlfriend would get along hurting the blueberries and loving Midge. Aw. I'm an asshole. T 
Two, six, four. All right, hold on. Two, six, four. All right, cool. Awesome. Update the text document real quick, because I don't know why my dumbass didn't earlier. Alright. Alright. Because I'm an asshole! <laughs> you know, I do have the headphones in and I kind of really want to listen to that, but I don't I don't want to like I don't know cuz I want to be singing it the whole damn the whole damn live stream. I'm an asshole. Yeah. I am live streaming. Man, with that yellow hat, George, George, what did he say about buttering your room, your corn with your feet? Jesus. I like, I like corn. Corn. I saw somebody the other day on Facebook where it was just like they were like they're like doing screenshots of like tweets and shit, and there was some European dude and it's just like, uh, Midge lives next door to me. No, and then it was it was some European dude and he's just like, how come every time, uh, you Americans pass by a cow you have to stop point and go cow? Uh, yeah. It was like, it was that uh that old movie Twister. With Bill Paxton? <laughs> right? That was Bill Paxton? Oh, wait, I've never seen that. It was, uh, it was Helen Hunt, Bill Paxton, and they were chasing tornadoes, and one of the tornadoes that they were happy to be chasing picked up a fucking cow and flung it across the street. No, and no. They're, in, they're in the storm chasing car, and Helen Hunt just goes, Cow! <laughs> like, that's the whole scene right there! Like, with a straight face, just dead serious, Helen Hunt's just like, cow. And then everybody's just like, why do Americans do that every time they see a cow? That's why! <laughs> so if anybody's wondering, go watch the movie fucking Twister. Right. <laughs> cow. Cow. Was she like, warning him? Like, watch out for the cow? No, it's just like, this is, this is exactly how it was. They're in the fucking tornado, like, storm vehicle. Like, you know they have those, right? The storm chasers, right? They have those cars. Right. And they're flying down the road, the hurricane, not the hurricane, the tornado picks up a fucking cow and flings it across the road. And Helen Hunt, just like this, she's just like, cow. Like, that's it. <laughs> this is like, just calm, cool, just nonchalant, just, oh, cow. <laughs> oh, man. And then there was also the bit from, uh, it was, uh, I think, Austin Powers 3. Where uh, Fat Bastard got into sumo wrestling. Yeah, that was Austin Powers 3. And Fat Bastard was doing sumo wrestling. And he's like, I, I don't know if he's cheating. Because I don't know what the rules are for sumo wrestling. But he's like, he goes up to the dude. And he's like, hey, do you know what my favorite Helen Hunt movie is? And the guy's like, what? And he's like, Twister. And he grabs him by the balls and twists his fucking balls. Oh, yeah. Which I think might be illegal. But I, I don't do sumo wrestling. So I don't know. Yeah, no, he's just like, he's like, Twister, he grabs his nuts, and the guy's just like, ah, because he's grabbing your nuts, but still, holy shit. Do you know what my favorite Helen Hunt movie was? Twister! Twister. <laughs> grabs you by the balls and starts twisting your balls. Fucking Christ, dude. If Fat Bastard grabbed my nuts and started twisting, I'm like, I'm gonna die right here. And then he picks the guy up by his balls and throws him into the fucking judges arena or whatever. Oh my holy shit. Man, I, yo, let's watch Austin Powers. Come on. I know. Groovy, baby. No, I, I do a terrible impression. Huh? I know. Is it his uh, massive sexual appetite or what? Oh. The way he talks? What is it? What What is it about him that bothers you? 
All right. I think it's because Michael Myers is not that attractive, so. All right. Well, that's the point, you know? It's just like... Yeah. Yo, it's funny. That's they even said it in the first movie when uh, Vanessa was talking to her mom on the phone, and she, she's just like, his teeth are so bad, and he's just, he's just not that attractive. And then her mom is just like, honey, you don't understand. You don't need to have perfect teeth to be a sex symbol. Like... Women wanted him and men wanted to be him. It's like, you just don't understand, honey. And it's just like, oh shit, is he really that attractive? Like, cause like, I think it was like his attitude or some shit. I don't fucking know. Yeah. They said it in the movie. Well. And it's just like, there's a reason why he's just like so goddamn irresistible. That's funny, cause there's a, that, that is a double standard thing that I saw. It's like, if he's attractive and he goes, hey, what's up, baby? Not sexual harassment, but he's ugly and he comes up to you and says, Hey, what's up, baby? That's sexual harassment. Yeah, and you know how much Austin awesome Powers loves saying, baby. Groovy, baby. Well, like, I'm talking about, like, in the office. I know. Or, or, like, at work, but. Like, it's okay to be hot. Yeah. Huh? Hot. Oh, wait, what are you eating that's hot? What? Are you, wait, what? the fuck is that? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Are you really good for a friend myself? I hurt myself today. There was another part in, um, The Hangover 2. Where Ken Jong was just like, they're, they're like, they're trying to, they're, no, actually that was Hangover 3, now that I think about it, right? Sure. Where Ken Jong, they were trying to capture him so they could, uh, like, you know, turn him over to John Goodman, right? And, like, they took him to the karaoke bar. They took him to the karaoke bar, and then he's just like, I hurt myself today. And he's just doing that fucking Asian voice that he's doing. <laughs> I love Ken Jong, he's an amazing actor. We need we need more actors like Ken Jong, you know. The the oh. dude what? Ooh, I want to see that on you. All right. What well, does fit, but I don't, I don't know. not really. You know, baby, I want to see you with that swimsuit on, and then I want to see you without it on. Cause I love you. <laughs> that was, uh, I was wondering why the delayed reaction and then I look over and you just got food in your mouth. I'm like, I'm gonna let her finish. Okay. Great, now I got that fucking Kanye thing stuck in my head. It's like, I'm gonna let you finish. But Taylor Swift, no, was it? No, it was Beyonce, that's right. Yeah. Okay. That fucking bullshit with Kanye West where he's like, he was at the fucking Grammys and like, Taylor Swift was accepting some award or whatever. And Kanye, Kanye West was just like, I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce is you know, just like, shut the fuck up, you fucking moron. There's always some bullshit with Kanye. Oh, yeah, no, there's always some bullshit. What have I entered into? Um, Isabel, I'm not sure. So, this is just, hi, I'm Jason Fisher, and this is my, <laughs> my girlfriend Haley. Hi. And we're just spouting off bullshit. Welcome to the bullshit podcast. You know what? That could be my podcast, the bullshit podcast. We get me and a bunch of my friends, and we just start talking shit. You know? Cause it's like, I went from the hangover to Ken Jong to then something else, right? So. Fuck, dude. But yeah, no, this is basic. I love blueberry pie. <laughs> Would people actually watch it if we did a bullshit podcast? Thank you, Cozy. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Parental advisory sticker. I do. I do miss that one. That one live stream that we were doing. I don't. I don't remember if if it got it on video where because it was. At, it was at like the very beginning. It was like the first thing we said. We were say, We were saying something about like a, like a uh, M and M's uh, without me. 
And we, at the same time, at the same time, both me and Haley were just like, two trailer park girls go around the outside. <laughs> at the same time. And, just like, and then we both burst out fucking laughing. And I don't know. I honestly don't know to this day uh, whether or not um, that got picked up on video or not. Because I never bothered to go back and look at the live stream. But holy shit. I feel like I'm very, not not slowly, I, I shouldn't say this, but like, I feel like I'm actually like really, really warming up to the idea of like listening to like, you know, rap. Because like, I don't, I don't typically like rap and I had this huge thing back when I was younger where like, I just didn't like rap. And then, um, like certain artists came along and I'm just like, all right. And like, you know, I had friends that listened to rap and like. Whenever we were driving on long road trips or whatever, it was like, all right, my turn with the aux cord. And I'm like, all right. And then I was just like, I would always be driving. And it's just like, what, what am I going to do? Just turn the music off? I mean, technically it's your car. So you I know. Driving. Yeah, it's my aux cord. You <laughs> will listen to my white people. No. Open up the dirty window. <laughs> Son of the lilies. Wait, what happened? Um. <clears throat> you cannot find me to put something in the distance. Release your inhibition. Feel the rain on your, your skin. skin. Holy shit, wait a minute. I was having that conversation with Jordan. How the- wait, what? What? I had this conversation with Jordan last night at Lowe's. About what? About that song! Oh. I'm dead serious. I had this exact conversation with- I was just like, who- 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 who sings that song? Cause I thought- my dumbass thought it was fucking Rihanna and Jordan's just like, I don't know. Natasha Bedingfield, I think. Oh, the same girl that did Sunshine? Pocket Full of Sunshine? Wait, right? Come on. Fuck, dude. I know the name of the song is I'm Richie, but I've Googled this enough. Yeah, Natasha Bedingfield. Holy shit, so yeah, the same chick that did Pocket Full of Sunshine. The rest is still coming Feel the rain on your skin. No one else. <laughs> yeah, no, dead serious. I swear to God, me and Jordan were having this conversation last night. We were at Lowe's. I started, because it started raining at Lowe's, and I said, Feel the rain on your skin. And I was like, I'm not fucking kidding. Cause it was, we were at Lowe's and it started raining and we walked out into the rain <laughs> and, and then Jordan said something along like, oh, it feels really good on my skin. And I was like, feel the feel rain on right. <laughs> your skin. I'm dead fucking serious. And I was like, who sings that song? And I swear to God, for some reason, my dumb ass thought it was Rihanna. And then Jordan just looks at me and he's like, really? You thought it was Rihanna? I'm like, yeah. I don't know. And, she, and he's just like, she did that song Umbrella. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm, yeah, oh, yeah. And as soon as he said Umbrella, I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm getting mixed up. I was like, cause I'm that much of an, I'm that much of a dumbass. Aw, oh, shit. I am that much of a dumbass that I can't, I don't know the fucking song. I'm gonna get stung by bees. I'm but no, I was just like, I have no fucking idea. It's like, Wait, can somebody make a mashup of that? Oh, uh, what, of us singing? Oh no, of the Umbrella song and uh, Umbrella. <laughs> People sing, do mashups all the time. Yeah. So many, so many did uh, Weird Al Yankovic uh, doing Amish Paradise, and uh, uh, I don't remember who did uh, Gangsta's Paradise, but whereas like they they did a cut of it where every other word was the other song, mm -hmm. and I tried listening to it. I'm just like I can't honestly. It's like Gangsta's Paradise by itself, all right. Amish Paradise by itself, all right. But when you do it like that, where it's like it's like every other word, holy shit, is that fucking bad. I want an excuse to waste my money. September is so far away. Wait, September, waste your money? I'm guessing the, the Mega Tens for Yu-Gi-Oh, right? They're already pre-ordered. They're like people, they're like millions of people pre-ordered the, the, the Mega Tens. I haven't pre-ordered yet, but I want to. I'm just, I'm on the fence about pre-ordering it because of the ban list. I was watching a video about this last night where I was just like, you know, the, 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 if the, if the ban list bans any card that's getting reprinted in the Mega Tens, people aren't going to buy the Mega Tens. And there's like, they, I was even, the guy that was watching the video was just like, 
He even said it's like millions of people pre-ordered the the Mega Tens. So, um. Can you cancel your pre-order or no? You can. Oh, okay. Oh, it's also yeah, that's right. It's also Cozy's birthday. Cool. Oh, happy birthday, Cozy. Well, in September. Oh. Well, happy early birthday, Cozy. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. But yeah, no, it was um. People people are worried about the Mega Tens, uh, specifically because of um. Uh, the the July ban list, which is it's supposed to come out July first. I don't know if it's going to or not. Um. Yeah, that's what he, that's what he was saying. He's just like. I mean, maybe one or two items if you needed to, but like. Also, it would be a per well, I mean, in September, because the ban list is supposed to be like what every three months. So, um, I'm I'm guessing the September ban list because it would be a year at that point, uh, to ban Dark Dark Dragoon, and I really hope that they don't, because in Japan, because Japan is like a couple of ban lists ahead of us, uh, simply because they have different cards, right? It's a different format, and uh, Dark Dragoon went from three to one and then it was at one for like maybe one ban list and then the very next ban list after that they decided to flat out ban it and so now in japan dark dragoon is flat out banned and i'm like okay so dark dragoon gets flat out banned but firewall dragon gets to go to three okay i okay and everybody's just like well fucking firewall got errata and i'm like yeah i don't give a shit all right I don't think there's a single thing that you could errata on Dark Dragoon, um, making it, you know, like, completely neutered. Like, I don't, I don't know what you could do to it. There's so much shit that you, that you could theoretically do to Dark Dragoon to, like, kill it, right? But, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Feel the rain on your skin. Do you like Italian food? I love Italian food. It's weird, like, I love Italian food, but, like, when it comes to, like, Irish stuff, like, I actually don't like a lot of Irish stuff where it's just, like, Irish whiskey and whatnot, but, like... You like corned beef. Is that Irish? Yeah, it's usually for St. Patrick's Day. Alright, okay. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if it's traditional Irish, but... <clears throat> yeah. I feel like, isn't, I feel like beer bread is an Irish thing. What, because it's beer? Yeah. <laughs> There's probably some guy he actually knocked. I bet I want I want to bet like how was it invented? Some guy actually knocked a bottle of beer in there. Yeah. And he was like, "Fuck, fuck, too late now." Yeah. I was just like, "That this would be a perfectly good waste of beer and bread." So I'm just gonna eat them both. Yeah, cause like you have to make you know you probably had to make your, your bread. Yeah. Soda bread is Irish. Soy bread. Uh, soda bread. Oh, I was like, wait. Yo, bread with soy sauce? That might be a little too much. What? I heard that. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I heard the fucking horror in your voice, and I look over, I look at your face, and the look of horror on your face, and I'm I like... I was laughing in confusion. <laughs> All right. Oh, Irish stew. Stew. Made with mutton, onions, and potatoes. Mutton. Man, do you remember those sideburns that I had that, like, kind of looked like mutton chops? Yeah, your Sam sideburns. Fucking Christ. No, Sam has better sideburns than me, but no, I, um... He's very large sideburns, though. He does, yeah, he is. I'm jealous of Sam's sideburns, dude. Really? Yeah. I like Sam's sideburns, though. Really? I do. They're smaller and it's, like, thinner. Yeah. But then again, Sam has... I, I, I like Sam's sideburns for his face. Yeah. He has the right sideburns for his face. Because he's handsome, you know? Sam's handsome. We're both handsome. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to you know. Well, I, I would say both, but we both know that there's 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 more than just the two Winchester Winchester boys. But 
I was gonna say shout out to uh, John Winchester for having two attractive sons. <coughs> Adam? Yeah. Yeah. No, John Winchester. No, I was talking about his sons specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that when their mom uh came back as like a ghost or whatever to like help them with that one ghost that they were trying to hunt? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh shit. Do I want to keep what? Ah, uh, sure. Do you know where those bottle caps from last night? Do you know where those went? Cause I was I spent like a good twenty minutes before the stream looking for them and I couldn't find them. You know I saw them on top of your glowing bullshit. Right, I did take them upstairs. Okay, and yeah. I, the, when I was coming out of the bathroom, I saw it when I was coming out of the bathroom on the way down here, and I looked at it and I kept staring at it because my blind ass couldn't tell what it was. I just saw a tall thing sitting on top. Well, of yeah, cause it was it was four bottle caps. Yeah. So I get up like real close and I'm like looking at it and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Do you have to get that close? Yeah. <laughs> My eyes kept looking everywhere else except <laughs> at the bottle caps. Yeah. Okay, maybe if I get really close, I can concentrate. Yeah, and then also you had, um... You, you, you also had the problem with, um, whatchamacallit? Ooh, what? The, uh, the glow-in-the-dark cotton candy. It's not glow-in-the-dark. It's, it was glowing in the dark. It, glowing it does it while I was sober, it did it while I was drunk, it did it while I was high. It's fucking glowing in the dark, babe. No. I'm so glad that this is something that we're arguing over, cause like... You know, we could be arguing over like money or like women, like no, glow in the dark cotton candy. <laughs> that's that's like the epitome of like a perfect relationship right there. <laughs> tell me tell me that's the like You know what we should do? It was like we don't have relationship problems like that, you know? It's just you like know what we should do to, to like make our friends very concerned. <laughs> what? To start arguing about something that's completely unrelated. Like Star Wars or something? Yeah, but we don't mention that it's Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah. And you say, no, you're wrong. And then we just argue like that. And everyone's like, oh my god, what's wrong? And they're like, you're like, she fucking thinks Star Wars is the worst movie. <laughs> and they're like, what? Or we let it go on for so long, people are like, you need couple therapy. And we go to couple therapy, and they're like, okay, what seems to be the problem? Well, he seems to think that Star Wars is the best fucking film ever. All right, so I saw one where a couple got divorced over this, where... Um, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, this is a thing that I saw on Facebook. It was, it was some, again, it was a screenshot of a Twitter tweet and yeah, no. And so hear me out on this, right? So the, the husband was just like, my wife and I, uh, got into a very heated argument, uh, not over like women or money or anything like that, but it was, it was star Wars again. And he was like, my wife and I, we were arguing, um, about, uh, the, about Endor and Return of the Jedi, where it's just like, um, if the the planet that they were on, you know, was Endor, or it's like, cause they said in the movie, it was the forest moon of Endor, right? Okay. And so it's just like, with, and then the, the husband was just like, we were arguing whether or not they were on Endor or the forest moon. I was like, they said in the movie it was the forest moon or some bullshit like that. And I'm just like, all right. But yeah. But also, you gotta remember, do you remember how big the forest moon of Endor was in Return of the Jedi? That's a pretty fucking big moon. No. Alright. We're gonna go back and rewatch Return of the Jedi, and I'm gonna be like, that's a pretty big moon. Holy shit. Oh, dude, a gumball machine. And I kicked the bed. And I ripped my pants. I need a tailor. Softly, swiftly, sweetly. Uh oh, 
Over the rainbow. Over the rainbow. Apparently we can make a... Alright. Yo, you were saying last night, is like, you were gonna get so sick from that cookie dough. I'm like, bet. And then, like, I ate half the cookie dough. I'm fine. Yo, cracking those eggs was, like, the hardest thing to do last <laughs> night. Wow, I was just completely and utterly just destroyed. Like, I was so messed up last night. That was the rest of our eggs, wasn't it? No, we have one egg. We have one egg left. Oh, okay. Egg, 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 and egg, and egg, and egg, and egg, and egg. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. For egg. Four pie. Four pie. Oh, Brian, let's live here. Hi guys, how you doing? Jew! Oh, that's right, this is a Disney universe. <laughs> I feel like that's like one of the greatest Jew jokes on Family Guy. It was, uh, it was uh, Stewie and Brian Road to the Multiverse where like they were just like traveling across like, you know, alternate universes and stuff. And um, they happened to go to the Disney universe and they're like, and everybody was like breaking out in song and like singing and whatnot. And then Stewie's just like, I could live here. This place is perfect. And Brian's like, yeah, I don't see a single thing wrong with this place. And then Mort Goldman comes over. He goes, hi, everybody. And then everybody just looks at him. And he's like, Jew. And they beat the shit out of him. And Stewie's like, oh, that's right. This is a Disney universe. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And then, he, and then he's like, he looks down and he's like, he looks down at his shirt. He's like, oh, but look how shiny my buttons are. And Brian's like, Stewie is like, all right, fine. I'm pushing the button. They, they push, they push the button. They go to an alternate, they go to another alternate universe. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll push the button. <laughs> this is like, I could live here. Look how shiny my buttons are. I was talking with Jordan about this, and, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is, like, the default, like, you know, the default de facto fucking whatever, but, um, I was like, Jordan, you're, you're, you're black, right? Like, how do, how do you feel about a lot of jokes on Family Guy? Uh, and he's just like, they're fucking hilarious, and I'm like, alright. And it's just like, and I, I was, one, one of my personal favorites, I was just like, um... There was the one where it was uh, Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor, right? And like they go out to like get the newspaper or whatever. And Abraham Lincoln says to his neighbor, "Is like, hey, uh, hey, Bill, your uh, your lawn's getting a little long there." And the the neighbor just goes, "Yeah, I used to have a guy for that, Dick." And he just walks back into his house. And I was just like, "How do you think that joke was?" It's just like that was probably my, my favorite one or something like that. I'm like, "Oh Jesus, dude." <laughs> it's like. I used to have a guy for that, dick. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing at that for 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 one reason that it's actually it's actually fairly poetic and you know somewhat uh, justice, you know. I was just like, oh shit, it's uh it it's it's funny, you know. It's not like. There's no slurs, there's no nothing. It's just like, it's a historical thing that was great, you know? It's just like, it, Lincoln did a great thing, you know? But, oh shit, there's a balloon! Oh wait, here, hold on a second. Hold on, I ha hold on. It's two, it's, it's one minute till noon, right? Joan's supposed to go away at noon. So does, does Joan just despawn at noon or what? Or can I, can I, can I keep buying her turn? Like well, I mean, all right. So I have Joan on the screen and I have that balloon on screen so I don't lose it. I'm waiting for the bell to ring. The bell. The, ring the notification bell. Stay up to date on all the Jason Fisher videos. Shameless plug. Don't even care. Is it really shameless if I don't care? 
Because it would be shameless if I cared, but the fact that I don't care, is that shameless? Uh, probably. Let's, let's ask William H. Macy. <laughs> do, you, do you understand that joke, babe? No. He's the dude on sh that show Shameless. Oh. Yeah. I, somebody told me he died a long time ago. I'm like, really? And, and I was just like, the, the dude from Shameless died? And they're like, yeah, William H. Macy. I'm like, all right. All right, I can, okay, I can see the balloon. Hurry up and turn noon already. All right. Oh, holy shit, it's raining, cool. All right, so it's past noon, I can still buy turnips off her. Hold on, hold on. All right, I, I did say I wasn't I wasn't gonna buy turnips, but shit. Oh man, I'm gonna miss out on that present. All for a stupid. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, the present's right here. All right, cool. All for the gram. Bitches on my gram. Oh shit, was that the same song? Oh yeah, all right. All for the gram. Here you go, all for the gram. Bitches love the gram. Oh wait, shit. Skirt. Skirt. Roxanne, Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne. That's actually, that song's about a hooker. I know. There's a lot of songs about hookers. Yeah. Well, also, um, Ch Roxanne Chelsea Dagger, too. Yeah. The Roxanne that I knew was not a hooker. She was really smart, actually. Yeah. I knew a Roxanne that went to Harvard. Cool. And then it's just like, everybody, everybody was just like, oh, your name is Roxanne. It was, and she's like, yes, I know. And she's like, my, it's like when it, when it, when it came turn, when it came time to name the kids, uh, it was my dad's turn to pick the name when it came to me. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm like, oh shit. That's funny. Fucking Christ. Uh, well, it's dad's turn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, for one thing, how many kids are you having? If it's just like, you know, it's like, yeah, you're taking turns. Yeah. Like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's to me. That's like the weirdest part of the story. Not, not that dad, your dad picked out your name, but the, the fact that it was like, yeah, when it, when it, it was my dad's turn to pick the name, like, that's fucking weird. That's, that's the weirdest part to me. They have octuplets. <laughs> she was very nice. She was, she was a very good girl. You know. This one had really long hair. Really? Mm hmm The one I've ever come, come across had short hair. But they were always a badass. Right? So. The one that I knew, actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't say this on live stream, but I was like, the one that I knew, um, I was, uh, I, I, we were coworkers, and I'm not gonna say where, but, um. The club. Yeah, we were working at the club, yeah. You know. I was the bouncer. She was at, you know, dancing on the bar, so. Yeah. Even though you weren't even old enough. <laughs> yeah. Also, if I say how old I was, that actually might give it away for people who are familiarly intimate with my life's details. But yeah, no, she, um, last I, last I spoke to her, she said she was going off to Harvard. I'm like, all right, I am. And it was one of those things where it's just like, she's just like, every motherfucker that I ever talk to that I, that I tell them that my name is Roxanne, that they do that fucking song. And it was just like, and it was like, that's the exact reason why my dad named me that. I'm like, oh shit. Like, that's fucked up, dude. I mean, cool, but that's fucked up. 
And I, you know what? I made a similar joke about my daughter, how I said I wanted to name my daughter Stacy because of Stacy's mom. But you're Stacy's mother, so in really, it's for you, but, you know. <laughs> like. Stacy's mom. Yeah. You know, actually, it was pretty weird. I was, um, I was looking at the, um, I was looking at the story behind that, and it was, um, it was actually, um, aunt or no, it was their grandma, actually. Oh. Well, yeah, like, growing up, um, like, one of their buddies had, like, a huge crush on the other one's grandma or something like that, and they're, like... Like, we can't turn this into a song. How about instead of our buddy, it's, you know, a, a girl and her mother. And it's like, all right. And, like, that was apparently the story behind Stacy's mom. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Stacy's grandma. Has got it going on. Stacy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Stacy's mom. You know what's funny? He doesn't even say her name. He just says Stacy's mom. Yeah. She's nameless. She's just Stacy's mom. Yeah. What's even better is like I was again while I was also like googling the the story of the song, the uh, the actress uh, who was obviously Stacy's mom. Um, was uh, uh, a model from like New Zealand or something like that. I'm like, oh shit. Cool. Like, she really was that hot. And apparently they hired her because she was so hot or yeah. whatever. But can you imagine that being your claim to fame? Like, oh yeah, I'm Stacy's mom. I'm like, holy shit. Everyone's like, oh my god. You know what? All right. So that's that song and that album came out in 2003. I don't know when the music video came out. But, okay, so let's do the math, right? If the song came out in 2003, and right now it's 2021, she's got to be, like, over 18, right? So, like, how, how the, the, the Stacy from the music video, all of those kids are, you know, of age by now, but... That's a good question. Huh. Do you think, growing up, do you think Stacy's the one that's got it going on now? I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah. 18 years old. Holy shit, yeah, no, 2003 was 18 years ago, right? Yeah. Holy shit, that makes me feel old. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm the boomer now. Holy shit. That's not how that works. Yeah, I know. Again, that's another conversation me and Jordan were having the other night. It's something about me being a boomer. Okay. Yeah. Well, just because, like, I'm fucking old. No, I said something about Betamax. <laughs> I said something about Betamax. I was giving Jordan a history lesson as to like, you know, VHS and like DVDs and shit. Cause he was, um, he was saying some shit about, um, he's like, do you have a Blu-ray player? I'm like, yeah, dude, it's right here. And I, I go to point to the Xboxes and like he gets down on his knees and he's looking at our entertainment se uh, system, looking for the Blu-ray player. And he's just like, where is it? I can't see it. I'm like, dude, it's right here. And then I, I went to go kick the Xbox. And he goes, wait, Xboxes play Blu-rays? What? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you didn't know that? And he's like, I thought that was PlayStation. And I'm like, well, PS3 and Xbox 360, but as soon as the Xbox One, it was, it's, it's, it's Blu-ray. And he's just like, but, but and I, was just, I, had to, I had to explain to him the history. Somebody named someone else just said hi in the chat. What's up, someone else? But no, so he was, um, I, I told him, um, uh, do you remember... Do you remember VHS tapes, right? And he's like, yeah, I remember VHS tapes. He's like, you're older than me. Um, and I, I said to him, I was like, there was a thing before that called Betamax, right? And when, v it's like, there was Betamax and then there was VHS tapes. And the whole reason why VHS uh, killed Betamax was because it was easier to put porn on there, you know? And so then people just started using VHS to, you know, for porn. And then, uh, same thing, when DVDs, they were putting porn on DVDs. It was just easier, right? And then it got to a point where, you know, when they switched from DVDs to Blu-rays... Holy shit, what the fuck? 
when they when they switched from DVDs to Blu-rays, we had this thing called the internet, right? And there's millions of hours worth of porn on the internet, so the porno industry didn't really care about Blu-ray or, you know, whatever. And so they let the video game industry decide what was going to be the next source of media, right? And what happened was is the PS3 had Blu-ray and the Xbox 360 had something called HD DVDs. HD DVDs suck dick. So, um, obviously Blu-ray won out. And then on the very next console generation, being the PS4 and Xbox One, now the Xbox One has Blu-ray instead of HD DVD because the media won, right? So, yeah, porno. Learn something about uh, history. Yeah, who knew porno would be so influential? I need a new catchphrase for Rizzo because I accidentally said yes. I don't know what his catchphrase is now, but... Alright. Holy shit, on live stream, his little headband looks darker purple. Or, no, no lighter purple. Alright, I need a catchphrase for Rizzo the Mouse. Hey, honey. Oh, you're passed out. Alright. I don't think you heard anything I said. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, I'm gonna go get some Oh, we didn't get sour cream for the tacos. You okay, honey? Did you write something on your arm? Oh. Oh. I was like, when did you get a tattoo? Did you get a tattoo without me? No. I want to get a tattoo. I snuck out and got a tattoo either. All right. I'm really thirsty, but all my water is warm, so. That's nice. Yeah. All right. There's an Amazon Prime truck that just drove by the house. What? All right, maybe it came today. Dude, I really need to poop. I already bought my turn up, so it doesn't matter. All right, I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream, and then uh, I'm gonna go poop, and I got a few errands to run today, and I'll see you guys. Oh, I got some coming in. Oh, cool. All right. Dang it, Bobby. That boy. All right.